should you be eating more fruit? The answer is probably not. Let me explain why. The majority of people that, of course there's a uh, helicopter. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. All right. The answer is probably not. And the reason why is because it's very likely that you have insulin resistance, that you have diabetes or pre-diabetes, uh, that you're overweight and you're having a hard time losing weight. And if you're just, and there's nothing wrong with this, but if you're just not into exercise, I understand exercise for a lot of people is just not fun. But if that's you, then the answer is no. This is really all pretty much carbohydrates. If you're gonna eat them, combine them with foods like chicken or fish or pork or beef. Eat them in combination, then your insulin response is gonna be slower, it's gonna be less. Your rise in glucose is gonna be less and slower and you'll have an easier time. But to just eat fruit, for example, as a snack, for most people what happens is it will raise your blood sugar very, very fast. When your blood sugar raises very fast, your pancreas is gonna secrete a hormone called insulin. And the purpose of insulin is to try to help get that blood sugar to go down by placing the blood sugar into our body's cells for energy. Well, if you're not burning a whole lot of calories, as they say, or you're not exercising, then your muscles aren't requiring a lot of energy. So right now, for example, just sitting here, uh, my thigh muscles and my heart muscle and my calf muscles and my hamstrings are not really requiring that much sugar to to sit here and basically make a YouTube video. But in a short period of time here, I'm gonna go into the gym. I'm in a hotel right now. I'm gonna go into the gym. I'm gonna ride the bicycle. I'm gonna run on the treadmill. I'm gonna lift some weights. So in about a half hour, 45 minutes, all of this is gonna be converted into muscular contractions. So by eating, uh, right before you work out, you're gonna have enough glucose going through your system that when the pancreas secretes the insulin, that insulin is going to enter the cells of my muscles and my heart so that I can have more energy and go ahead and get a good workout. If you're not exercising, the problem is, is that your muscles aren't really requiring or I should say the cells are not really requiring that much uh, sugar. So as time has gone on in your life, you may have noticed that your body doesn't respond real well. And so what happens is your cells don't really want to absorb the blood sugar and they become resistant to the effect of insulin. Real quick message, I take a product called Magnesium Breakthrough. This is the company. They're the sponsor of the video. I'll put links down below in the description if you want to see what this product is. Basically, it's seven different types of magnesium. I know a lot of people take magnesium for better sleep, better neurological function in their brain, better muscle recovery after workouts. There's a whole host of benefits, but there's different types of magnesium. Instead of cherry picking which magnesium you have to figure out, just get this one. It's awesome. Give you a discount down below. There's also a 365 day money back guarantee. So if you want to try it out, this would be a great time. So let's get back to the video. The problem with this is number one, your blood sugar stays high, which leads to higher risk of cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, strokes. The, in addition to that, the blood sugar stays high and your pancreas, because it has been secreting insulin, now doesn't respond to a low insulin, uh, low blood sugar level and keeps producing more insulin. So your, your, your crazy pancreas keeps secreting insulin, 
thinking that you're at high blood sugar, but the insulin doesn't really work well on your muscle cells or your cells of your body and thus both go up. This will inhibit your body from using fatty acids coming from your fat cells to break down. So you have a hard time losing weight. So it's not that an apple and a banana are necessarily bad foods. You have to take it in context. If you are exercising a lot, you could probably get away with this. If you're not diabetic and have a normal insulin response, and I should have said this probably in the beginning, but what does it mean to have a normal insulin response? It's a metabolic flexibility that your body has that when you eat stuff like this, your blood sugar goes up, your, ins your pancreas secretes insulin, the insulin works well on the cells of the body and the blood sugar then enters the, the cells. Blood sugar goes down, pancreas stops secreting insulin, everyone's happy, that's normal. But in a lot of cases, people, pre-diabetic, diabetic, insulin resistance, um, these people don't have normal insulin responses, don't have normal metabolic flexibility, and thus their body reacts negatively. So that's the story behind these foods.